Now in this lecture we will learn how to find the equation of parabola. But before going this we must discuss the parabola. So let's start the lecture. What's the definition of the parabola? It says that parabola is a set of all points in plane that are equidistant from a fixed line. So what is the equidistance means equal distance from a fixed line from a fixed line and a fixed point in a plane. So basically this is a definition of a parabola and now we will sketch it. It is a fixed line and here is a fixed point. So the fixed line is called the directrix and a fixed point is called a focus that we represented by F. Parabola is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line and a fixed point. Suppose that if I take here is a point P. If you see that the distance between the point to a focus and a directrix is equal. And if I suppose another point which is something here and the third obvious point that is a mid point between a focus and a directrix which is something here. So if I join all these points then it forms a shape of a U type shape which is a parabola shape. So in this way the parabola is formed. This is parabola. So here is the important thing that a fixed point means a focus does not lie on a fixed line which is directrix. The next thing is that if the straight line passing through this focus and perpendicular to this directrix is called the axis. Means this is called a axis of a parabola. And parabola is metric to this axis. And the parabola where meets the axis, this line is axis and where the parabola meets this axis or cut this axis is called a vertex. So now to draw the x-axis and y-axis. So for this let us take the axis of our parabola which is a this line is the x-axis. Means if we said that the axis of the parabola is x-axis and take the origin at a vertex. 0, 0 as a vertex so the y-axis is something here that we draw it. means here this line is called a y axis and here is another thing which is as the distance between the vertex and focus and the distance between the vertex and this directrix line is always same. As we use in further step this information in to finding the equation of a parabola, what is the lattice vector of parabola? First of all, check out the definition that is a chord passing through focus of a parabola called a focal chord and a focal chord which is perpendicular to the axis or the major axis of a parabola is called a lattice vector. So if I draw it here that this is post that this is a y axis and this is x-axis. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. So if here we draw our parabola and here is a vertex V. So what is a late lattice vector? First of all check out that what is a focal chord. That is a chord passing through the focus of parabola called a focal chord. Means if here is a focus and what is a chord means a straight line. If a straight line passing through this focus is called a focal chord and a focal chord which is perpendicular to the major axis of a parabola and both the ends on a curve is called a lattice vector. So now it's time to move on to the main objective of this video that to find the equation of a parabola that we have to find the standard equation all four parabolas. Now we are discussing that to drive the equation of a parabola when a focus on a positive side of the x-axis. 
so we already discuss about our parabola in a very detailed way so we just have to write the equation that this straight line and this is a uh, suppose that a uh, y axis and here is a uh, axis and we say that this is a uh, x axis is here so if i draw a parabola that i always said that the that these formulas is only valid when a vertex is origin which is 0 0 so this is a vertex point if here is a focus of this parabola if we suppose that here is a point which is a point t having coordinates x and y then we always remember that the distance of this line which is equals to the distance of this line means the distance of tf which is equals to this distance if we suppose that here is a point l so we have that distance of tf which is equals to distance of pl but firstly we have to find the coordinates of a point f which is a focus and a l if we suppose that the distance of a vertex and a focus is a suppose that then we already discussed that the distance of vertex and focus is same as that the distance of vertex and this directex line so in x axis the coordinate the x coordinate of this focus point is a and in y axis here is a zero now it's time to find the coordinates of this point as the distance is same in magnitude but it is on the other side of the axis so it will be x is equals to minus a this directex line so the x coordinate is minus a so what will be the y coordinate of this point and the distance between the p l is same so the coordinate so the y coordinate is same as the point of p having coordinate y so the y coordinate of this point which is we suppose that a point l is also y so here is what is our distance formula set if we have a point a which is x1 and y1 and a point b which having a corner having a points which is x2 y2 then distance of a b which is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square and the whole term is in a radical sign this is called our distance formula between the two points a minus x square if we apply this formula over here so a minus x plus 0 minus y square and the whole term is in the radical which is equals to now to find the distance between these two points so it will be minus a minus x square plus y minus y here and the whole term is in a under root so in the next step as the distance is always positive but i just do the steps for no confusion just to follow these steps so if i common the minus sign then it will be x minus a here and plus it will be y minus zero here if i take in common minus and within the and within the under root it will be if i take minus again so x plus a and square and this will be a cancel out so it doesn't affect on it so we are left with this so this minus is square so we are left with x minus a square plus y minus zero square with this radical sign which is equals to x plus a square and with this radical if you notice that, that this square can be cancel out with this radical so we are left with x minus a square plus y square with this radical which is equals to x plus a so if we if we get rid of this radical then we must take a square on both sides so after scaling x minus a square plus y square as this radical sign can be cancel out with a square and here is a scale on this side so now we opening the scales on both sides so it will be x square plus a square minus 2ax plus y square which is equals to x square 
plus a square plus 2ax. If you see that these terms can be cancelled out in a similar way, these two terms are cancelled out. y square minus 2ax which is equals to 2ax which implies that y a x 2 a x plus 2 a x. So in the next step finally we derive the equation of a parabola that is the standard equation of a parabola when the focus on a positive side of the x axis and the parabola is open in the right side. So the focus is on the negative side means here is a parabola and suppose that here is our directrix and here is a focus point and here is a point T having coordinates x and y. Then we know that the distance of T f is equals to the distance of a point through a directrix. Suppose that here is a point a. Now we find the coordinates of a focus and a coordinates of this point. Here is the origin which is 0, 0 and we suppose that as there is on a negative side of the x-axis, so here is our distance which is a, a same in magnitude but in there is minus a as the distance is same as in magnitude but this is the positive side of the x-axis and the parabola is on the negative side. So here the x is equal x is equals to minus a and in this axis there is x is equals to positive a and in y coordinates the here is a 0. That in x axis here is a positive a and in y axis the distance is equal so the y coordinate of a point P is y so in a similar way it will be y. Our distance between a point P F and a distance between which is equals to which is equals to P A. So it will be X plus A square plus Y minus 0 square with under root as to apply the distance formula of P F and which is equals to P A. It will be X minus A square and then plus y minus y square and the whole term is in the under root. Now to solve it, it will be x plus a square plus y square with the under root sign which is equals to x minus a square plus it will be a 0. So we can write it as x square plus a square plus 2ax. Basically we open the square of this factor and the y square is in a similar way and the square is cancelled out with this radical sign so we are left with x minus a. Now to get rid of this radical sign we take a square on both sides. So if we taking a square this radical sign can be removed and this will be the remaining terms and here is x minus a square. So if I again open the square and rewrite the terms as in a similar way and open the square it will be x square plus a square minus 2ax 2ax plus y square which is equals to minus 2ax. So if we take this factor on other side so y square minus 2ax minus 2ax so finally we obtain a final equation of a parabola when a focus is on a negative side of the x-axis. Focus first we will discuss about that if the focus on a positive side of a y-axis means this is a x-axis and this is a y-axis this is a positive side of x-axis and this is negative. So if we have a parabola just like is that thing and uh, here is a focus and uh, here is a line of our directrix line. Here is a point P having coordinates x and y. Then the distance is same as this distance. So if we said this is a point L and in that case the working axis is y axis. 
so if the distance is a then here is our distance is also a but the directrix is on the other side of the x axis as there is a origin having a coordinate 0 0 is on other side then here y which is equals to minus a so we find the coordinates of these two points so here in x axis it will be 0 and in y axis it will be a so here is the important point that will be noted and in that case it will be in x axis here is a x and in y axis it will be minus a so we will find the distance between a point pf which is equals to distance between pl x minus 0 square plus y minus a square and the term is in the under root this is the distance between pf which is equals to x minus x square plus y plus a square and the whole term is in a vertical sign now it will be x square plus if we open the square it will be y square plus a square minus 2 a y and the whole term is in a vertical sign and here this factor will be a 0 and we are left with this factor y plus a square and with this radical sign so uh, this radical sign can be a cancel out so we are left with x square plus y square plus a square minus 2 a y with this radical sign and it will be y plus a and to get rid of this radical sign taking the squares on both sides so this is a uh, simply we write this factor and if we take a square y square plus a square plus 2a y so x square minus 2a y which is equals to 2a y then finally we get that 4a y and this is the final equation uh, standard equation of a parabola when a focus on a positive side of a y axis first of all draw a parabola that is open as a downward location and if here is a focus point then here is something our directrix line so if we suppose that here is a point p then this distance and this distance is equal that there is a negative side of y axis so it will be a minus a so the distance is minus a but is the distance is positive a but is on the negative side of y axis so it will be 0 minus a and as the point is that, that we finally into that having the coordinates x and y this is a point p and a point m it will be x and here is a negative but the directrix is on the other side means on a positive side so if there is a y which is negative a so the line directrix line it will be a positive a so here is a a now now it is easy to find the equation that is the equation of pm which is equals to distance between pf we apply our distance formula plus y minus a square with our radical sign which is equals to x minus 0 square plus y plus a square with this radical sign now it will be a 0 we are left with this factor which will be y minus a square with this radical and it will be x square plus y square plus a square plus 2 a y with this radical sign now this square can be cancelled out so we are left with this factor and x square plus y square plus a square plus 2 a y with this radical sign now we are taking the squares on both sides so I will just doing a direct step that is 2 a y which is equals to these terms are in a similar way minus 2 a y which is equals to x square plus 2 a y so in a final step x square which is equals to minus 4 a y so in this way we will find the standard equation of a parabola when a focus on a negative side of the y axis so it's all about today's lecture and in the next lecture we will learn how to find the 
focus vertex and directex if the equation is given and also how to sketch it on a graph so if you like this and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share